Welcome, folks. I have a bunch of security cameras that I want to do a local recording. I don't like doing cloud recording for those cameras, so I have set up a virtual machine on one of my computers. It's running Windows 10. You can use uh, any of the virtualization platforms to virtualize, basically. I am going to be using Samba Share or Network Share, uh, Windows Network Share to uh, kind of uh, record the feed to. Uh, this is the software that I'll be using. It's called Agent DVR or iSpy. Uh, it gives you both, uh, it has Windows uh, and OS X and Linux support as well. I have only tried this earlier before with uh, Ubuntu. I did try Debian before, but that didn't work for me. So I haven't really tried it for a Mac OS uh, or anything else. So they have a pretty simple install uh, script, I suppose, right? So they do say that you try uh, use Ubuntu 20 plus. I have just downloaded, this is the image file that I'll be using. I'll be using the 2020 1.0.1.1 LTS because the long-term service, I believe that's what's called, full uh, full uh, form for LTS basically. Uh, it's got support till 2027. You can you're welcome to use the uh, the other instance instead, uh, which is only got support till t July 2023. So I so to begin, uh, I guess uh, it's going to quickly show you. Uh, I have the Ubuntu downloaded the ISO image. I've configured my virtual machine the way I want it. And I haven't uh, attached any drives or anything to it because I'll be using uh, network storage uh, for uh, recording my feeds too. I got about four or five cameras that I want to kind of record. Uh, so let's start the, uh, first of all, let's do the install of Ubuntu from basically start uh, to finish. Uh, choose try to try or install Ubuntu. Choose that option. Once we're done doing the install, we're going to do the. I, I might uh, fast forward some of this uh, uh, and uh, show you guys how to actually install the Agent DVR or iSpy Connect. Uh, there are other products out there as well that you can use, but this is the one that I have used for about, let's say, two, almost three years now. And it has been working well for me, so no complaints. Uh, other than the fact that the newer version they got, this version, I believe, um, they changed some things. They for, they're forcing you to kind of sign up for their uh, cloud account to be able to access your feeds remotely. But I was able to get, get around that uh, in the previous version. So I'll see if I can do the same and show you guys how to get around that limitations they might have in terms of not being able to access your uh, basically your web server to look at the feeds uh, from anywhere you are basically without actually signing up for the service they might have locked it down completely and i might not be able to do it so uh, if you run into that um, i don't know what what you can do basically they don't have the older versions uh, listed anymore to download so you're hooked basically. So that, let's let's do the install real quick for Ubuntu and then we'll go into installing Agent DVR. Once that has loaded up, uh, you're not going to try. You can simply, I, I, you can try it out, but uh, I would just do the install. I have assigned about 40 gigs for storage, and I'm going to use the default mapping. I'm going to use everything as default. I'm going to use the install third party for graphics and Wi-Fi. I don't have any Wi-Fi cards, but might as well do that. Um, I might actually try minimal install. Uh, I just need web browser and the basic utilities. I don't need the office software games or media players. Um, I might run into some issues, but we'll find out.
in terms of the requirements for agent dvr i'm going to do because i tried installing it uh, you will only see one option or two options uh, it will be erased disk and install ubuntu and something else uh, i already attempted uh, doing the install on this drive that's why you're seeing all these two other options additional options you will only see these two options right there uh advanced features i'm going to leave it to default don't want any advanced features and we're going to go next and let it finish give it the time zone and do the setup and then once it's done i uh, will do the asian dvr install It looks like the install finished. We're going to do the restart. All right, there we go. Ubuntu is installed. We're going to just do that. We're not going to do any of that. We are going to try to install Asian DVR by running their script. Uh, you may need to install curl first on Linux. So let's do that first. We are going to install curl. You know, you click on the waffle here in the bottom there. You choose terminal, you type sudo because uh, you're logged in as a normal. Oh, actually, it's already got that sudo in there. So copy and paste. Ask you for your password. It's saying, hey, I only need this so you're gonna click yes or choose yes not click once that is done we are going to attempt to do the install hopefully it works i've never actually done this to be honest so copy and paste Yes. So it's setting up my uh, required software packages as well. Just like it's so. Uh, because it did say uh, that if you don't have the FFmpeg version 5 or if you don't have it, it will try to install it for you. So that's what it's doing right now. Oh, it's funny that's doing the Debian multimedia one now. Okay, maybe I should try this on Debian instead of Ubuntu. But uh, let's see how far we get into this and how the installer goes. So I'm gonna let it finish.
Okay, it looks like it finished. It's asking me if you want to set up a service, uh, system service, which is yes, because that's all this virtual machine will be doing is uh, acting as the NVR. So it says go to the local host. This is the default configuration or default port. It's not letting me copy, I guess. It's not letting me open it. Just clicking on it, so we're gonna leave that open there. Paste and go. Oh, there we go. So it has successfully installed. Sure, I don't have a microphone, but why not? Let's go for that. So, uh, there you go. So you have. Asian DVR up and running and installed and the next session or the in further down the recording if I combine them into one big file uh, you will see how to go about configuring and adding uh, various camera feeds that you might have so but this is it so you have your agent DVR up and running uh, I don't believe this version allows you to access it using the public IP address or off the web. So that might be one of the limitations. So okay, we'll explore this further um, and then we'll go from there. I might uh, do another session actually where I'm actually accessing it on a proper browser versus a virtual machine. The size resolution is kind of goofy, so it doesn't do you guys justice looking at this tiny screen. So, uh, 